Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. human maggots and that my friends that my friends cannot be allowed that's why they have to hunt him down and mark my words they will and when they do find him i pray to god that he's ready for him so the sinner is basically a crime drama driven by supernatural elements as we approach the end of days uh, the story the the big arc follows a man named fisher Rood, played by david christopher who, uh, after his wife and unborn child are brutally murdered, he vows to find and kill the devil himself. We all grieve with you, my son, but we must take comfort and trust in the perfect yet unknowable will of God. God's will. You sure about that, Padre? So, the devil, um, as it turns out, might just be this man named Anias Blackthorne, who heads up this very secretive and influential global initiative called the IV Group. So, we have Alex Jones in the show. You know, Alex Jones plays himself to expose and kind of explain what these people are doing from episode to episode. The end game is central control of you, your life, your family, your soul. Their maxim, government shall be your god. Can you tell me about a man named Fisher? Kidnapping, arson, theft, assault, murder. What does Blackthorn want with him? I'm afraid that's classified. Blackthorn wants him. That's all I know. Alive? Subject confirmed. What's interesting about Fisher Root is that he's kind of a, a rough guy, you know, he's doing some pretty bad things. But he seems to have this very pure and mystical connection with God, you know, and as he, he's traveling from town to town in search of the devil or, or, or some way to get at the devil, uh, God is giving him these assignments to help people. The problem is that this help doesn't always seem like help. It seems like hell. Once I get my check, we'll be covered for a while. Uh, uh, sure would be a blessing if you could spare a couple of bucks. I'd be happy to pay you back in like 30 days or something. You're a liar. <laughs> what? You're a damn liar. All I need is a couple of bucks. Ah, ah, ah! No! No, no! Someday you're gonna thank me. These are the little arcs, you know, the, the little stories episode to episode, uh, where you have these people in these towns and they're in trouble, you know, they're in a really tight spot and all they can do is pray. And uh, the answer to this prayer is Fisher Rood who comes in and, you know, he turns everything upside down or, you know, right side up depending on your perspective. Fisher's, you know, he's a fugitive, he's a criminal. He uh, spends a lot of time underground, under the radar, uh, consorting with and making deals with the criminal element. You know, one of his, his uh, main contacts is this Louisiana crime lord named Reverend Roy. 
Fisher rude. Reverend. What cause of you to enter my purview? The Butcher Brothers. They're on my list. I thought you should know. You will owe me twice. One for each. <laughs> Thematically, the show is about free will and our ability to change the reality we've created for ourselves. It's about what it means to choose between the diabolical and the divine. What are you, some preacher? Some kind of angel or something? No. I'm just a sinner. Like you. In need of a little grace and mercy. The ticking clock uh, is the end of days, of course. You know, what the IV group wants is to darken as many souls as possible before that event. Stay here. Fisher in his in his you know, very limited ways, can only help one person at a time. But who knows what that one person will do. That effect ripples out from that person. Uh, you can't discount the effect of, of helping and changing one life at a time. The show's been described as a cooler, tougher, more aggressive highway to heaven. Uh, what we have is a very dark anti-hero, a criminal who does a lot of bad things, but he manages to help people out of the hell that they've created for themselves. You know, he's a, he's a fist fighting, hot rod driving, tequila drinking, cigar smoking, badass basically, working for God, dispensing Old Testament style justice. You know, <laughs> how cool is that? Shout till I tear your kingdom down. Shout till I tear your kingdom down. Angela. What? Nobody gets what they deserve. They get what they fight for. Come on.